Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Daily Dose of Brood War episode. We've got light here in the top center. S Soma. I almost said snow down here in the bottom left. We've been watching quite a bit of snow recently, but... You know what I've been, I've been missing is Soma. Soma, if you didn't know, is in the military right now. You're in 2024. He will be for about another year yet. So he's going to have to take a very long break. But uh, he's a guy who is kind of a leader of Zerg. He's one of the more aggressive Zerg players that we have. And someone who has always been at the top of my list for players to watch out for, for players to emulate, in fact, when it comes to aggressive play. I'm not... A super aggressive player I kind of preferred to play macro games but when it comes to Zerg versus Terran it's never a bad thing to take the reins in the early and mid game to have a plan laid out or a set of contingencies for example if you see a certain build from Terran then you have an all-in prepared I think that 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 type of idea is really really good you know, you are looking out for markers, things that you scout, buildings that you can see uh, that will indicate your opponent's plan. And then you've got just something really hyper aggressive to punish it with. I think that's something that uh, Soma does well and something I'm trying to mix into my own play as well. And it's a shame that we don't have Soma uh, in the zeitgeist right now. You can see he is opening pool first. Going into six lings, getting his hatchery down. And where are these drones going right now? It's uh, a little bit confusing. Uh, it looks like he's trying to sneak one out on the map. He hasn't taken his gas yet. I probably, you know, probably if he was getting scouted by this SCV right now, he would most likely take this gas. In my opinion, I'm not sure if uh, he would just continue along with this plan, but he's going to take a third base right away. By the way, Neil, uh, no, what is this called? I actually can't remember. I, I almost said Neo Dark Origin, but I, I remember it's um, Neo something. Neo Sylphid, that's it. Neo Sylphid. And he's blocking out the SCV. Oh, it's just barely going to slip by. It'll get in there and see that the gas is not even done. So... This is a big tell for Light. He knows exactly what's happening right now. He knows, okay, you've got to have a hatchery out on the map somewhere. I'll have to look for that. And I'll have to scout for that a little bit later. But what is the plan here for Soma? He doesn't even have, like I said, any gas just yet. He can't start Ling Speed for some time. And we've already gone to two racks. So we know exactly what is coming from Light here. He's going to go... Two racks, grab the uh, refinery, armory, and we're going to push across the map to force Sunkins, 100%. Sunkins will have to be built in order to stop this. We may even have to put two Sunkins up here. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Apologies, guys. I'm still getting over a bit of a cold. You might be able to hear it in my voice in the uploads this week. I'm uh, preparing some extra uploads for while I'm gone uh, because I'm heading to Korea to watch ASL. So uh, these are going to be pre-recorded mostly this week. That's why we're doing quite a few uh, older games and then releasing them on the days when I am not around. So one Sunken's already been thrown down. Another Sunken's going to be have to be thrown down up here pretty soon because we're just about at that five minute mark. Wow, pushing out with naked marines here. Seven naked marines heading across the map. Dude, I think he's going to get here before this finishes. That's really rough right now. If he loses the sunken colony, he could just lose this game. He's pulling back. <gasps> oh, man. Dude, light missing a big opportunity here. I guess he just assumed that this would be done. But because it's not... He is going to keep his marines alive, but he missed an opportunity. Once you get up this ramp, you kill the sunken colony. If you're just standing up here, shooting the hatchery, Lings can never run up this ramp and kill you. 
uh, if you've got like eight marines up there it takes so many links to kill that it's kind of disgusting so he's gonna push out with the full marine group now he's forced the sunkins we've already got one second one gonna start and a third <clears throat> so total four here but can he finish them in time the second sunken looks like it might just barely finish he's gonna build something out in the front evolution chamber is gonna go down here just to try and bug things up he's got a good group of lings with this so he shouldn't get broken here oh my he's actually gonna try this kind of wild here light just going for it but dude he gets smacked down hard if the fire bets had been in front to clear the lings maybe that works but that is still a pretty big maybe i'm really shocked he decided to go for that but it is scary nonetheless for soma here that was a uh, kind of a wild moment when you're a zerg player like is this really <laughs> wait a second did i did i calculate this correctly you kind of second guess yourself in your own head like uh i he might just get right through that i don't I, i'm not really sure but uh it looks like he did calculate that correctly he didn't you know suddenly uh, you know hammer out a bunch of lings or anything like that thinking he was gonna get broken so he is in a good pretty good place here he's starting to build some mutas he's got a good count of drones might throw down a building here in the front yeah evolution chamber once again just blocking is is so good right here not allowing the marines to all get up that ramp and we'll be able to cancel put a queen's nest there instead so he will be going for a, quite a quick hive off of this and i expect we're gonna see hydralis defiler gameplay out of him which i love to see it is quite the difficult composition to pull off but it is extremely strong extremely cost effective when done properly my problem with uh, hydralis defiler play is that it's uh pretty hard to macro it all out there's a lot of moving pieces and you're just on three bases it's a little bit easier than you know having four bases to worry about but it is quite difficult to get the defilers and hydras to move as you wish while also getting you know links here and there to get the consumes and everything these are just my gripes guys i'm a terrible terrible 1900 player but we're uh we're working on it right now we're trying our best to improve and watching this i think is a big part of my improvement guys watching these games and i hope that uh, you guys enjoy them as well constantly looking out for new ways to play and this is something i think could be pretty good on some of our new maps right now we're gonna have a big stim forward here three sunkins on high ground is not quite enough but the queen's nest you can see is taking some damage forcing some targeting there and wow great defensive play here from soma just handling that attack with ease you can see perfect sunken placement maybe putting the sunken like one hex back here might have been a bit, bit better or maybe on this side i'm not sure seemed like quite a few marines are actually able to target that right there but it didn't go down and it ate a lot of damage so maybe it's fine and now he's going to be able to get into this hydralis defiler play quite cleanly the defiler mound is down we have uh upgrades on the way here i don't see hydralis range or speed just yet but i think that should be coming up soon there's the hatchery ads in the main putting up those uh big important structures the the production structures here are going to start to come down for soma going to connect the bases as well very important stuff probably put it over here although you know it is kind of scary to place your nidus network on this side we have a tank push coming in here so rallying on some tanks has gone up to five racks production one factory one starport 
which is a very scary push timing here but we should have defiler well and enough in time to stop this there's two lines of sunkins here plus all the lurkers behind we only need to buy another 30 seconds or so before the defilers pop and consume is ready so okay there's the first defiler we might actually see an irradiate on that okay it's still got 10 more seconds before irradiate finishes so or before uh, it has energy excuse me for that irradiate so maybe he can get that down still four more seconds and consume is done okay he can consume and he will throw down the dark swarm the irradiate not quick enough just barely not quick enough there to drop another dark swarm pushing everything back not bad now what i was gonna say is that putting the nidus canal on the right hand side here is always scary because we could have a push come to here and tanks get set up on the low ground here shell this nidus and then things become a little bit dirty over in this position let's see what soma can do dropping the dark storm just in time here gonna force things back make it a little harder for this uh attacking army looks like he's gonna lose the defiler to the splash damage of the siege tanks but i do believe we will see light try to push to this location he is going to push over here. This is very scary. A scary moment. Very nice play here by Soma. Getting in the way of that. Knowing that this is kind of the goal for Light. Is to get down here. And making sure that he's able to come out with the Defiler. And head this off. A lot of players what they'll do. Stay up on this high ground with Lurkers. And then the, the tanks siege up. And the Marines are standing right here. And you just can't get your army out to stop the tanks from uh, picking off your Ninus Canal. And look at this. He is going to get in range. Dude, this is so broken. This is so busted. He's going to be able to kill the gas here too. The gas is going to go down. And the Ninus fell. It is just so broken. Okay, we're not killing the gas yet. There we go. Going to start to target that down. Here comes some Scourge, though. Scourge getting on top. Kill one of the vessel. Lurker's running straight up on top of this. He does gun down one of the tanks. But the second tank survives. Just five kills. Kills off that Lurker. And that was just about the whole, the whole thing there from Soma. He does almost get that science vessel. Dude, if he picked off that science vessel right there, he might have still been okay. But he's going to lose the extractor now. And drop down to two gas mining, which is just about unplayable, honestly. We will put the Nidus over here. But it's not the greatest, man. It really is not. We need to actually kill our Queen's Nest at this point. Having the Queen's Nest is actually a hindrance to us at the uh, at this moment. We're going to get um, Lurker right up against this wall here so that uh, we can potentially push everything back. Lurkers are going to run forward here. Trying to get some shots down on these tanks, but only the one Hydra going to get any shots off at all. Dude, this is so painful. I really feel for Soma right now. Light is just abusing this map so badly. This reminds me of something like a, a Lost Temple situation or something like that, where the tanks can just be utilized in such a way that makes the map completely busted. We're going to have this Lurker come up, get in range of the tank. I'm really shocked that he's not unseaging here, but he will finally unseage. What are we hitting with the Lurker right now? Oh, it's this. I didn't even... I thought it was the tanks. Tanks were actually out of range of the Lurker, funnily enough. But we've spent so much money at this point just trying to break through and get our third gas back up again that we don't really have much else going on. Whereas Terran is still expanding. Another Lurker goes down and the tanks are once again in range of the Extractor. Dude, I would be so mad at this point if i was soma here this is infuriating guys we're gonna lose the gas again here complete map abuse over here on 
Uh, Neo Sylphid. A Dark Storm should come down. Oh. We don't have Plague? Okay, we don't have Plague, I guess. I haven't seen any Plagues come out just yet. Sending the rest of the army across map. Trying to throw down some Dark Swarms. Trying to get something going here. Some sort of counterattack to bring the pressure onto Light. Rather than, you know, trying to just hold the attacks over and over and over again. Looks like Lurker will go down to the D-Matrix Firebat. And Light is not going to let up, even for a second. Now, 50 supply ahead. I'm going to have one more Lurker push over here towards this tank. But it seems like not even this will dislodge the push here. It's such a dirty spot, guys. I can't even tell you how annoying this is. Putting the tank right there. Like, how do you even get down here to kill this? He finally kills that off. But at the same time, running into a wall here. Wow. Big plague came down on a lot of these units as that was getting cleaned up. And he actually takes a pretty decent fight with the Marines. He can't be losing this, this army, though. I don't see a Defiler with this. Dude, these Hydras have to stay alive right now. We need this army. He's running away, trying to buy as much time as he can. Going over towards center right. It looks like he does get a vessel as compensation here. But it looks like all Hydras will be picked off eventually. He's just going to spread and hope that he can take a decent enough fight. Maybe kill off a few Marines. But the Marines, I mean, 2-2 is done. Looks like we've got a few Lings running around. A Defiler is here as well. We've only got that plus one armor. And Soma is just running out of options. Yeah, he taps out. GG. Dude. Light. This little spot right here is so dirty. Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad this is out of the map pool, man. I, I feel like the longer that uh, each map is out and in the map pool, the more abusive spots Terran learns to... Like, the stronger and stronger Terran becomes. Uh, when a new map comes out, I feel like Protoss is probably the strongest. Zerg, as well, does, you know, does pretty well. But Terran usually struggles with new maps until things start to get really figured out, like... If you just get tanks right there, this is such a small base. There's hardly any space to put a Nidus Canal. And if you've already filled up this side with buildings, you have to build it on this side. You're going to lose it. Plus, the gas is so exposed. Oh, it's savage. It is savage what Light did to uh, Soma in this game. Completely suffocated him with just a simple tank push. And after all that, I mean... Soma did a really decent job blocking that push from actually getting set up in the first place, right? He came out here and he blocked with his defiler. He had the defiler on time and it just goes to show, like, you can have everything go right. You can do everything properly uh, as the Zerg player, but some of these positions are just actually unplayable. He's, I mean, he cho chose this for himself, right? He, he was the one who decided to go for this position and to put both of his evolution chambers here, which I guess was his biggest mistake. Putting both evolution chambers right there might have actually clinched it out. If he has more space over here to put the Nidus Canal, he probably puts it over on this side and he doesn't lose it. And then maybe he can rally stuff through because what he was having to do was after losing let's see if we can skip ahead here a little bit you can see he did a great job of bringing out lurkers and trying to block this he was getting right in front of this just before it gets over here and having a lurker there already as well does help out a lot but right as this goes down we have most of our hatcheries over here, right? We don't have any space. Excuse me. We don't have any space to put hatcheries over here. So we've got all of our hatcheries over here. That's five hatcheries worth of production coming out of this area. And only one hatchery worth of production coming over here. So how do we ever break this? Well, we have to get out on the map. And we have to leave from our natural. So everything has to come out and run around this side to try and clear this out which is just so so tough 
Would have been nice if we had picked off this second vessel as well during this chaos. Um, might have bought us a little bit more time, but it's just, it's tough. The next round of units, as it's popping out, you can imagine if you could just consume right here, hop through the Nidus and start uh, attacking this once again, maybe he could have cleared this and held off. But instead, he has to move his units from the natural here and run all the way around through here to try and help this base. And at the time it took to do that, the gas was cleared. It looks like he didn't even send units from here. He just waited for the Nidus to uh, finish once again. But uh, it was too late. The gas has been killed. You're falling farther and farther behind. Just lings are not going to cut it. You need gas units. So light able to utilize that position to continue to just pressure that area and force Soma out of this game. It's a shame to see Soma get taken down like that. But you know what? It's great to see him playing once again. I'm really looking forward to seeing him and what kind of shape he's going to be like coming back from the army in the next couple of years. But until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video.